before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe underneath this video. We're about to start, so grab a drink as well as something to eat, and let's go! All right, everyone, as I said previously, I'm going to be doing a review on every single tier 10, talking about its ups and downs, and if you should grind it or not, if it's good or if it's trash. So I'm going to be looking at the tank itself and on the tech tree. So most tanks in its tech tree. So uh, obviously I don't have every single tier 10 in the game. Uh, not even close. Not even close, uh, but, uh, you know, um, I've played on every single tier 10 uh, on the my CC account, which I had, and I've extensively looked at every single tank, and on my actual account, I've grinded the tanks that I really wanted myself. So, uh, obviously, let's start off without wasting much time. Uh, let's look at uh, the Soviet tech tree. Of course, let's start off from the very top. So, we have the 268 probably one of the best uh, TDs in the game, if not the best TD in the game. Uh, it is absolutely amazing to grind. Uh, the uh, ISU, um, I mean the SU100, SU152, ISU152 and the 704 are all amazing tanks and you will have fun uh, grinding the, 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 you know, the 268 in general. Just because of the amazing tech tree, all the tanks are amazing and uh, they're very derpy and the 268 is so trollish it, it's so maneuverable the armor is decent the gun is decent uh, it's good at everything and that's why i think it's the best td and it's worth the grind for sure but then on the other hand we have the 263 right here and obviously it's not worth it guys complete trash you know it has a uh, five degrees of gun depression i think and it's uh, the, the gun is at the back of the hull so you you have worse gun depression in reality dpm is good but your alpha is trash the armor is trash and uh, the line itself is really bad apart from the su uh 122.54 so that's the only good tank in the actual line everything else is completely trash and i would not recommend you guys to grind this piece of trash um object 140 and the t62 both amazing medium tanks the biggest difference between these two is the 140 is for players who are more dynamic who like a bit faster tanks the hull on the 140 is a lot stronger well not a lot stronger but stronger than the 62 and uh, you know it's good for rushing and for tournaments so if you like pushing around and being aggressive the 140 is for you the t62 is for a uh, position player so you take a good position from your turrets use the seven degrees of gun depression and voila you have an amazing medium boom the line itself is decent obviously not the best but uh, the t34 t43 and t44 are all, 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 are all really good tanks uh, the, the penetration might be lacking on uh, the T44 and 43, but uh, the mobility and decent armor compensate for it. The T54 is very mediocre, especially because of that penetration, and most players won't be able to play well against tier 9s or 10s, even though they will bully tier 8s. That's it. So 140 and T62, very good mediums. And um, again, it depends on your play style, what you go for. Uh, IS-7. Uh, I don't think it's worth it guys, even though this is a very good uh, noob player uh, grind. It's probably the best tier 10 for a new player, but if you already have a lot of tier 10s, I would suggest don't grind the IS-7. It's probably one of the worst heavy tanks at tier 10. Uh, you know, trollish armor, good mobility, blah, blah, blah. But the gun is so bad in terms of DPN, gun handling, etc, etc. It is just not worth it and it's not interesting. In my opinion, the line itself is also very good though. The KV-1S, amazing. IS, amazing. IS-3, very good. And IS-8 is also very, very good. And the grind itself is very good. So, um... Overall, I would say it's good for new players, but if you're already more or less experienced, the IS-7 is not for you. And then we obviously have the IS-4 line and the IS-4 itself. Definitely worth it. IS-4, one of the best heavy tanks at uh, tier 10. The ST-1 is also very good, but uh, the tech tree itself, KV-2, KV-3, KV-4 and ST-1 in their stock forms are utter trash. And it's going to be a really, uh, it's going to be a pain in the bum to, uh, you know, over uh you know overcome but the is4 in the end is definitely worth it amazing tier 10 heavy tank very good armor very good gun 
uh, the mobility is also on par it has amazing armor and for that mobility it's a mwah, it's voila it's amazing it's amazing no words so for soviet tanks the tanks i would not recommend is the 263 and the is7 so yeah everything else is uh, up for the grind and uh, you know they're very good all right so um let's look at the german tanks obviously i have nothing here because i hate all these tanks apart from the e100 i've played on the grill the ag panzer the vk the mouse and the e50m and the leopard and i will explain why so the grill 15 good tank to grind but it's just not my play style so i don't play most of the tanks apart from the e100 but uh, the grill obviously a very good tank uh you know the, the gun is very good but uh, i'm just not into very not very well armored tds because i'm a very aggressive player this is for people who like to be laid back sit in a bush and shoot definitely the you know the tier eights and nines are very good some people would even say the waffle is better just because of that uh, full rotation on the turret you have but uh, other than that the grill is amazing the the borsig is also amazing uh, the gun everything the the camo rating and again the turret so uh the grill 15 is definitely worth it guys and uh it's a very good td but it, you have to play in terms of your own play style for example if you're an aggressive player don't go for the grill for god's sake going on to playing with the grill on the first line is not something you want to do now again yak panzer 100 i think personally it's trash but for most people it's a good tank because amazing armor well not amazing good armor and a good gun boom but for me i don't like it because you know the mobility is pretty trash so uh going for that damage is uh, gonna be like eh it's gonna be really hard and a pain in the bum so this is not something unicom's play um so i would definitely recommend it if you're a average player or if you want to have some fun destroying people for 800 damage uh, per shot is amazing and the line both lines are decent obviously the uh yak panther yak panther 2 and the yak tiger are all amazing tanks no joke there mobile apart from the yak tiger of course the ferdinand is trash guys don't play it it's trash but the yak panther 2 is very good decent armor good mobility the yak tiger has insane dpm so um that is that so both of these tanks are good for the grind and are definitely worth it now a tank that is not worth it is the vk72 complete utter trash starting from tier 8 the tiger p is good but the tier 8 is trash the tier 9 is well it's mediocre it's probably an e75 with a turret at the back but uh it's mostly trash especially the sides don't hold anything at all and trying to side scrape is going to be a pain in the bum and the VK-72, same problem, sides are trash, it's slow, the gun has no DPM, uh, the armor is trash, the turret gets penned to the side, the front gets uh, penned with gold, so utter, utter, utter trash, do not even come close. Mouse, again, something I would not recommend, the VK is a very good tank, the Mousion are good at their tiers, respectively, but the Mouse, for most people, unless you're a noob, is not a good tank, uh, it's gonna be a really big pain in the bum, to play and uh, you know it's probably just a tournament tank you know to to get in that uh, to push through these positions etc etc now a really good tank i would recommend with an amazing line is the e100 amazing heavy tank amazing gun compared to the vk 72 better dpm and better gun handling obviously the armor is also specific you know you need to know how to uh, you know uh, turn your tank etc etc but overall e75 great tank tiger 2 amazing tank tiger 1 and the vk 36 are all amazing tanks and they will teach you how to play the 100 so boom ex uh, amazing uh, now with the e50m i think the e50m is outdated why it's only good against medium tanks so it can destroy all other mediums one-to-one -one. but once it encounters anything else like a light tank uh you know um a heavy tank or a td it's out the window the armor is non-existent on this thing anymore only against mediums remember the mobility is bad the gun is bad so most people do not enjoy it and unicom stopped playing this for a reason guys and the line itself is also really meh e50 is like mm, not it's very bad the panther 2 is bad the only good tank is probably the panther obviously then we have a leopard amazing tank but again just not my play style because i'm a very aggressive and i don't like taking he to the face uh, <laughs> but uh, leopard amazing most unicoms play but i'm not up to that level yet so i have not tried the leopard overall the line itself is also very meh 
either way you go apart from the Roo, the the Spitz is good uh, the Indian Panzer though and the VK30 are both really trash and the Leopard is also trash the tier 9 one so obviously the Leopard is good for grind E100 the Jagdpanzer 100 and the grill but the VK mouse and the E50M I would say put them off guys so, try something else because uh, you know there's better tanks to research out there so yeah since now we can look at the american tanks obviously uh from here again i haven't tried anything amazing just because of the fact that you know the e4 here it's probably one of the most useless tds when you have the e3 my next grind is definitely going to be the e3 and uh, i'm probably going to be done because nothing else from the american line interests me so we obviously have the Patton. You have an M60, which is a better version of this. The line, the grind itself is trash. Don't even look at the pattern yet. Even though it got a buff recently, it's still very trash. The T57 Heavy, again, the line is pretty good. The T69 and T54, but I played it on my CC. And again, the T57 just, it was a bit slow for me. I have the 50B, so there's no point in going for the T57 Heavy. Sometime in the future, though, maybe. Uh, we have the Sheridan. After the missiles got taken over, I mean, I don't play lights and uh, I just thought the Sheridan was toxic, so I didn't really uh, want to have it. But uh, other than that, nowadays, it's still a good grind. I think the Sheridan is pretty good, starting from tier 8, T49, T92 and Sheridan are all good tanks. Now, uh, probably one of the most uh, favorite tanks to grind is probably the E5. It has the M103, T90, uh, T29 and the T32. All of these tanks are amazing compared to the IS-4 line and the E5 is a fan favorite so uh, it's definitely worth the grind and it's for tournaments and for random battles. It's a great tank even though I personally don't like it, most people will love it. Amazing gun, amazing turret, a decent mobility and of course, um, you know, decent everything, good at everything. Now we have the E3. I mean, it's definitely worth the grind but at the same time it's not just look at this t28 t95 god almighty save me please the e3 is uh, a very good tier 10 uh amazing for me because i love being aggressive but then again it lacks that mobility so i was like meh should i go for it or not and uh, overall you know it's probably worth the grind but uh, i just skip both the tier 8 and 9 altogether t25 is pretty good but uh, the e3 is uh, worth it but these two are meh so that's uh, what I had to say for the American line. All right, so now on to British tanks. Again, I have nothing on here because nothing really interested me. Uh, I've played on every single one of these tanks in my CC and uh, the Death Star definitely worth it. Definitely worth it if you wanna have some fun. Definitely not for Unicums. As you can see, I'm researching it at the moment. And uh, FV, great tank if you wanna have fun. Again, if not for Unicums or uh, probably just to have fun nothing else don't expect anything serious the fv4005 amazing tank amazing grind uh nothing i can say really i played on it the um, the drum is mwah. it's amazing it's amazing this is the tank i originally wanted to grind and i accidentally went for the death star as you can see so um this is a tank i really 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 want uh the FV4202, don't even look at this, trash tank, trash tank, I'm telling you, straight up, it is completely trash. The Vickers Light, even though it got nerfed recently, it's played a lot by Unicums, but then again, I'm not a light tank player, so I wouldn't want to play it. But if you like light tanks and medium tanks, this is amazing. The, the turret is decently armored, the mobility is great, the gun is great, so definitely a very good grind. Tier 8 is OP. Tier 9 was OP until recently, and the tier 10 is amazing. Now the FV215B, another great tier 10 heavy tank, but uh, you know, you need some skill to play it. The tech tree is obviously decent, the Black Prince is good, the Carnarvon and the Conqueror are all decent tanks, and uh, so is the 215B, but you just need some skill. So if you, have, if you have already researched all the other heavy tanks, this is probably the next thing for you. Uh, now I just want to talk about the European tech tree really quickly. So both of these tanks are definitely up for the grind. Amazing tanks. Uh, the Kronwagen Emil 1, Emil 2 is really meh, but the Kronwagen itself is amazing. I have a review for it. So is the Progetto 65. If you're a medium player, the Standard B and the P44 Pantera are all amazing tanks are, are definitely worth the grind. Amazing mediums with auto reloaders. Mwah! Beautiful tanks. Beautiful tanks. 
that's all I have to say for the European tank tech tree. Uh, I wanted both. I got both. Boom. Uh, for the French tech tree, oof. This is where we. Um, this is where we start to shine. Obviously, again, the Fosh 155 and the AMX 50B, both amazing tier 10 heavy tanks. Oh, not both TD and heavy tank. And uh, the AMX line is great, uh, starting with the ARL and finishing off with the 50B. They are kind of like, you know, non-armored, but uh, again, it'll teach you how to play uh, a bit more relaxed and at the back. And uh, the Fosh 155, the grind was trash. This is some ugly mutant tank. The AC-48, oh my goodness, it has a cancer turret at the back. And oh my god, it, it, it made me want to throw up. And the Fosh was trash. I didn't like it at all just because of the gun and the low alpha. That's, uh, you know, my opinion. But the 155 is a decent tank. It's pretty good. Both of these are amazing. And of course, the Bat Chat, the Bat Chat line is, uh, is a great grind again. But I'm not into lights, so I didn't want to grind it because I won't really play them. But uh, I played it on the CC. Again, the drum is very good. And if you're a light tank lover, this is for you because it's very good. And the grind is very good. So I definitely recommend the Bat Chat. Now we have two uh, tech trees, which I really don't enjoy. I mean, two nations, I really don't enjoy. That's Japan, obviously the STB and the Hori. Uh, I have I didn't even want to go for these because I just don't like the gameplay of the Hori and the STB. But uh, I'll talk about them because again I've played on both of these tanks in my CC. The STB is mwah, perfect. The DPM is a bit low, but other than that, amazing tank, amazing mobility, amazing armor, amazing gun handling, uh, depression, etc., etc. However, the grind is going to be a pain in the butt, so I don't think it's worth it for most players if you don't want to, uh, you know, jump out the window while you're playing this uh, tank line. <clears throat> And then we have the Hori, uh, very meh line, especially the other tanks. Again, the Japanese tanks are so bad apart from their tier 10s. The Hori is a very good tank, but just not my playstyle. Again, it's meant to be played on the second, third line rather than the first. And that's just not what I do with TDs. I like to rush, I like to be first. And uh, a Hori is just not good for me. But uh, for you, sure. Uh, tier 10 tanks are amazing, top notch. And if they fit your playstyle, go for them. But the tech tree, I'm warning you, is just awful. God awful. And we obviously have the Chinese tanks, the WZ113. Oh, this is trash. The, the line itself is trash. Don't even look at this. Guys, there's better TDs out there. This is trash. I don't even know what this is. Trash, trash, trash. Don't even look at it. Don't think about it. Then you have the WZ-121, very good line, decent line, T-34-1, 2, and the WZ-120 is very meh, but other than that, uh, the tier 7 and 8 are very good, and the tier 10 is good because of the, you know, the alpha. The alpha is, it's a very unusual medium tank, that's what I want to say. And uh, if you like this tank, and if you like the playstyle, definitely go for it. Then you have the WZ-113, uh, obviously another tier 10 heavy tank. Uh, personally, I don't like it. Some people like it, uh, but that's up to you. The grind is similar to the Soviet tanks. Uh, it's, you know, just just to go through them. I would personally not keep any of these tanks in my hangar. Uh, I've tried them and, you know, same as the Soviet tanks. Pretty much almost a copy of it. Uh, other than the fact that Stalin doesn't guide your shell no more. But, uh, you know, uh, that's a topic for another day. And obviously the WZ-113 has amazing DPM, has a good gun, good mobility, decent armor. So again, it's an average heavy, but uh, you know, I wouldn't prioritize it for myself, but the line is definitely worth it. Uh, but then again, the TD is pretty much trash. So I think I went through all the lines very, very quickly, guys. And uh, you know, uh, if you guys wanna see me do, you know, look at uh, tier 10 collectibles, then that's something else for another day. And uh, I think I would enjoy doing that. But this is a very quick overview of the tanks you should grind and the tanks you shouldn't grind. Uh, so uh, yeah, even though, again, guys, I don't have too many tier 10s in my garage, but I have played all of them on my CC, and I and I chose for myself specifically what uh, tank I should uh, go for. Even then, we can just check my stats, guys, and uh, it'll speak for itself. So if we just go to tier 10, boom, all tier 10s are obviously first place. Obviously, we have the 30B, we have the Kronwagen, 3,300, then we have the E100, 3,200, T95, E6, I got recently, great collectible. Uh, the VK, 9T01P, again, 3,100, almost 3,200. The Object, 
268 as you can see 900 plus battles the Fosh 250 battles again as you can see they're not bad but you can see from you know uh you can see that i'm a heavy tank player and i went for the best heavy tanks and tds i liked so i'm not a medium tank player so as you can see the progetto is under 3k well just under 3k the 121b again 2900 t62 2800 almost 2900 and the 140 2800 so as you can see i'm a heavy tank player and i specifically go for tanks i like rather than you know wasting um all my xp and time grinding tanks i don't want so i play tanks uh, i like on the cc and uh, and then i choose basically so uh, yeah but that's just a quick overview guys uh, so if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and that's all i had to say for today but uh, you know how it is happy is out and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye